right leg, left leg. Sabbath children and welcome to yet another episode of Kids Corner right here at Bluff Hill SDA Church. My name is Shumi Chekerwa, Donzi Shumi, but you can call me Auntie Shumi. And today our story is about a little girl who just loved the woods. Have you been to visit your grandma or your grandpa who stay in the village? You know, in many villages, there's a part where you can walk through a path and you go into the woods or into the mountains where there are lots of trees and the grass is high and you can just run and feel a fresh breeze and it's so refreshing. Now, this little girl used to love to visit Gogwen Sakuru because she would always run into the woods and have so much fun and she would come back later in the day. Her mommy always used to tell her, Samantha, Make sure, Kuti, when you go into the woods, you don't go too deep in. Because right now, it's the rainy season. So the rain can start raining at any time and you'll be stuck. So make sure that you just go just a little bit by that big tree over there. That's where you stop. So that if it starts raining, you can run back home. Yes, mom. Yes, dad, Samantha said, as she ran her way into the woods. Oh, she would always go into the woods and she would see the big tree. She will say, ah. Do zap. So she would run further into the woods and she would go up the mountain. Oh, she'll see all kinds of animals, she'll see snakes, she'll see worms, and she loved it. Now, every day her mom would ask her, Samantha, did you listen to what I said? Did you get to the tree? And she'll say, Yes, Mama, I got to the tree. I didn't pass the tree. That's where I played. Now, that was not the truth. Samantha was lying to her mother. That's not good. So, one day, Samantha went into the woods as usual. Oh, she ran past the big tree. Ah, she didn't even think about the big tree anymore. She was so used to running past it. She ran past the big tree. She went into the mountains. Oh, she was having a nice time running around, picking up different leaves, seeing different worms, different snakes and animals. She saw little squirrels. She saw little rats. She saw lots of things and she loved it. Now, she realized that mm, it started to drizzle. The rain came a little bit. She said, ah, it's about to rain. Mommy warned me about this. And she looked up and she could see that mm, it was a big storm coming. Oh, Samantha was so scared. She said, let me run home now. As she was trying to run back to Gogwen Sakuru's, she couldn't find her way. Did she go left? Did she go? Which way did she go? Oh, Samantha was so stressed. She didn't know what to do. She started going this way. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't go. Ah. She was so sad. She ended up just sitting down on the ground and she didn't know what to do. And then she remembered that at school they taught her that whenever you're in trouble, wherever you are, you can ask Jesus to help you and he will. 
So that's exactly what Samantha did. Samantha said, God, I'm so sorry I didn't obey my mommy. Please, please, please help me to find my way back home. Please, Jesus. Amen. And then she sat there. She was cold. It was raining. She didn't know how to get home. She was hearing all sorts of sounds that she didn't like. Were they wolves? Were they lions? Were they tigers? Were they cheetahs? She didn't know. But all she knew was she did not like the sounds she was hearing in those woods. Oh, she sat there. The rain now pouring on her. She didn't have anything to cover herself. She was freezing. It was just a disaster. But a few minutes later, she heard a voice, Samantha, Samantha. She said, Samantha, Samantha. She listened carefully. She said, yes, I'm here, I'm here. And she was so happy because she realized it was her dad's voice. Her dad had come to rescue her. Oh, Samantha ran to his voice and she hugged him tight and she said, I'm sorry, Daddy, I'll never disobey you again. Oh, Daddy had come with a big jacket for her and a raincoat and an umbrella and he carried her in, her arms, in his arms and he took her home to take a nice long bath. Now, what does the story teach us? This story teaches us that we should always obey our parents. When our parents tell us not to do something, we should listen to them. This story also teaches us that, you know what? Jesus is always listening to us. He's always sitting in heaven, just waiting to hear us talk to him. So we should talk to him all the time. Whether we're in trouble or we're not in trouble, whether we're sad or we're happy or we're angry, we should always talk to Jesus at any time, no matter what we're feeling. And he is sure to listen to us and to answer our prayers. This story also teaches us that our parents love us so much, just like God does, that even when we sin and we do bad things, when we say, I'm sorry, Jesus, please help me, Jesus will always forgive us. Just like daddy came to rescue her, Jesus will also come to rescue us and he'll hug us and take us in his arms and take us home with him. So we should always, always make sure that we talk to Jesus and that we obey our parents and that we go back even when we make a mistake, we should always go back. We're also reminded by the story that bad habits become bigger and bigger by the day. Samantha was getting deeper and deeper into the woods every day. So it's a good thing to just stop bad habits. If your bad habit is lying, you must pray and say, God, help me to stop lying. If it's cheating or stealing or fighting with others or bullying others, we should pray about it now so that Jesus helps us before we get too deep into the woods. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for teaching us the story that had all these amazing lessons. Please help us to be the very best boys and girls that we can be, Lord. Help us to always remember to talk to you no matter what we're going through in life. We love you, Jesus. In Christ's name I pray. Amen.